So today I am checking out the cheapest 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery that I could find on Amazon. So right now, as of this recording, this battery after coupon is $159.49 free shipping. So $159.49 is about $15 cheaper than any other 12.8 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. So we're going to test this out and see what you get for $159.49. I hope it does well. So to test this battery, we're going to be using this 4,000 watt pure sine wave inverter. Now this inverter is way bigger than I need to test this battery, but it's what I have available right now. I'm going to go ahead and be putting on a battery monitor so we can monitor the battery. And then I'm also going to be running the inverter monitor so we can monitor the inverter and see what it says the battery is doing. I'm going to be running it on a small AC unit. It's a little 8,000 BTU uh, portable AC unit. I'm going to be plugging that into here and we're just going to let it run and see what it does. All right, so what I've got is the positive of this inverter hooked up to the positive on this battery. I've got the negative of the battery and the inverter hooked up to a 300 amp shunt that is connected to this battery monitor here. So it can kind of give me the specs of what's going through the battery. And then this is the remote that goes to this inverter. And this is going to give us, you know, basically what's coming out of the inverter. So I'm going to go ahead and kick this test on. I have, if you can see that cord over there, that is the small little portable AC unit. I'm going to go ahead and run that. And that is basically going to do all of the load and draining on this battery. And we'll see where we end up. I don't know how well you can see this, but I'll let you know what it says in the video once we get going. I did move the little AC unit as far away from this as I could, hopefully to reduce noise. So now we're turning on the inverter and... The AC unit is powered up, but I'm going to go ahead and actually turn it on. All right, so let's uh, see what it does. So it already, I didn't see the jolt that happens really quickly, but of course, you know, those little compressor motors, when they kick on, they do jolt up pretty high and then they settle down. This one's running at about 540 it looks like watts. There's a difference between this and this. The inverter's running, it says 570, 580. Um, but this, for some reason, is only saying it's pulling about 550 from the battery. So I think, you know, one of these is not quite accurate, but I'm, I'm going to assume it's this one. I usually use this tester here to test all of my battery tests with, and it's been, from what I thought, pretty good. So when it comes to how well this battery did, I'm going to go by this. This actually keeps all the specs on how it did. I reset everything so we'll get a good reading of capacity. Right now we're pulling about 45 and a half amps uh, from this battery at 12.8 volts. And we're gonna let this run and just see how far we get. So I'm not gonna leave the video recording this whole time. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back, keep an eye on this when it gets kind of low. We're gonna see, does the BMS kick out first? Does the inverter kick out first? You know, how do these two handle low voltage? And um, I'm pretty sure this inverter kicks out at around 10. That's what it's done in the past. So we'll see if the BMS kicks out before it goes below 10 volts. But we're just going to let this run and see. Two hours later. All right, so we are definitely hitting low voltage now. We're at 10.7, it says on the battery. The inverter is reading it as 10.6. And we're at 96.2 amp hours capacity wise, 1.2 kilowatt hours. So yeah, I don't think we're going to get much more out of this. We are down to 50 watts because just the fan is running right now. But if that thing kicks on again, I'm assuming that's going to bring it down to nothing. Got the room nice and cold though. So again, we're getting down really low. We got 10.2, 10.1. I'm pretty sure once this thing drops below 10, it's going to start beeping and want to turn off. Oh, BMS turned off. So you can see here the BMS turned off. That's why this is no longer powered. The battery itself actually hit down to 10 volts and decided to cut off. So it didn't even wait for the uh, inverter to turn off. The BMS shut it off. So since it died out, I couldn't read this anymore. I wanted to make sure. So I put the battery charger on the battery so I could have at least get a reading. So 96.4 
is what I got out of this. Now I did run one test on this before and I did get over 100 amp hours. I think it was like 102, but now I'm getting 96.4. I'm assuming there's gonna be some variation in charging. I don't know. But you know, that's close enough for me to say, yeah, I think it's pretty good for the price. 96.4 amp hours. I mean, we're really close. So yeah, I'd buy more of these. And I hope this was helpful. If you like these type of videos, please subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be doing more tests on the batteries that I buy, the inverters that I buy. We're going to be doing a whole different uh, setup in our RV with solar. So I'm going to be adding a lot more equipment like this uh, in the near future. Thanks for watching. Y'all take care.